Welcome to the section on Android Concurrency, which explores the motivations for, challenges of, and techniques, tools, and methods associated with developing concurrent software for mobile devices. Concurrent software can simultaneously run multiple computations that potentially interact with each other. To ensure that interactions between running computations occur in the right order and don't accidentally corrupt shared data, synchronization and scheduling mechanisms are needed. This section focuses on the mechanisms that Android provides to create, control, and terminate multiple threads that run concurrently within a process. Some Android concurrency mechanisms we cover are based on standard Java features, such as threads, synchronized methods and statements, rentrant locks, condition objects, and semaphores. We also cover several Android concurrency frameworks, such as its handlers, runnables, and messages, or hammer framework, and its async task framework. Throughout this section, we'll illustrate by example how concurrent Android applications and frameworks are developed by applying many Gang of Four and POSA patterns, such as template method, strategy, factory method, command processor, active object and monitor object, half sync, half async, and thread specific storage. You not only learn what goes on at the surface of the Android application layers, but you also learn what goes on underneath, inside the Android middleware itself. We examine a lot of Java programming examples in this section. So you may want to download the Android open source code available from the POSA MOOC website and follow along.